everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this easy stripes bookmark. Now uh, this is a very easy bookmark pattern to work. It's nice and thin and light. Uh, it's approximately eight inches long by half an inch wide and that's excluding the tassel that I have added to the end. You're going to need approximately 20 to 30 yards of a lightweight yarn. I'm using the Patton's Grace yarn. It's a number three weight yarn along with a 3.5 millimeter hook. You'll want to work it in uh, two colors as I have done here or you can use more or even a solid color if you would like. Uh, it's really up to you. So the uh, free written pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. The direct link is there for you in the video and uh, I hope that uh, you'll subscribe and check out some of the other crochet bookmark patterns that I have here on my channel. Our bookmark pattern today is worked in rows and so we're going to start using our color A. I'm just using this blue color by making a slip knot. You're then going to chain a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of three plus two stitches. Today I'm going to chain 41 and you can change the length of your bookmark as needed. There's 20. Thirty. Forty and forty-one. You're then going to, for row one, work a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook, and in this stitch you're going to switch to your color B. So count in one, two, yarn over, insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over and drop a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Drop the color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook and pull through. You're then set to continue with your color B. You're going to work over top of your color A so that you can carry it along with you. You're then going to work one half, two half double crochet stitches, one in each of the next two stitches, and in that second stitch you're going to switch back to your color A. So there's my first one in color B, half double crochet into the next stitch. I'm working over top of my color A and also the tail of my color B. Yarn over, drop a loop, drop that color B, pick up your color A, which is just down below, place it on your hook and pull through in that second stitch. You're then going to work one stitch in your color A and you immediately switch back to your color B. So there's a lot of color changing in this design. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. So one half double crochet in your color B in each of the next two stitches and in that second stitch switch back to your color A and then work one stitch half double crochet stitch in your color A immediately switching back to your color B. You're going to repeat that all the way across. At the end of your row one, you're going to finish off with your color A in your final stitch. You can fasten off your color B. Chain one, we're now going to just simply work an easy edging around our bookmark. There's no need to um, fasten off or anything in the stitch. What you're going to do is you're going to start by working a single crochet just around the post on the rough edge or you can even work through the post if you would like of that double crochet stitch but you're just working one single crochet then you're going to be there at your first corner 
into your corner you're going to work three single crochet stitches and this is going to bring you around to your long edge. You can then go ahead and single crochet into each stitch all the way along this long edge. When you come to your corner stitch, work three single crochets into your corner, followed by uh, one more single crochet on that short edge, and then three in your corner, and then work all the way along your long edge again to work three in your final corner. So you're going to work your single crochets all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch and then I'll show you how to make a tassel to add to the bottom of your bookmark if you would like. Once you have worked single crochet stitches all the way around the edge, you've joined with a slip stitch in that first stitch, you can fasten off and weave in your ends. You're then ready to add a tassel to one end if you would like. And I'll just show you, there's many ways to make a tassel. I'll just show you a quick way uh, that I like to make them for my bookmarks. Uh, it's simple, you don't need any extra tools or anything. What you're going to do is you're going to cut some lengths of yarn. The length that you choose will do, be dependent on how long you would like to make it. These ones are about 10 inches long. And you're going to simply cut them. I cut eight strands. And then you're going to pull them through the end of your bookmark. So there's my first four going to grab my other four here I'm just using a regular yarn needle and I'm going to pull the next four through so I have eight strands all together you're going to fold them over so that they're kind of in half and pull them down so that they're even okay there's no tying or anything necessary so you folded them down and you're then going to cut another longer piece of yarn and I turn my bookmark upside down and you're going to place the yarn under the tassel up near the top. To secure it I simply tied a knot to begin or even half of a knot like so. Then you're going to take one end and simply wrap it around up at the top. Then take, hanging onto it, take your other end, wrap it in the opposite direction and bring them both so that they are, are coming around to the back again. Once you're happy with how many times You've wrapped it around. You're then going to very carefully take it and once again tie a knot just to secure it in place. I'm kind of holding it there with my thumb. It's a little finicky. And this time I tied a full knot. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to tuck in your ends. So I just simply thread them onto my yarn needle and then put them down through on the inside of my tassel going underneath where, where I have wrapped the ends around uh, the tassel. So take both of them, tuck them just inside, it's just going to give you a bit of a cleaner look on that other side, pull through just like so. You'll then want to simply take your scissors, trim the end of your tassel so that all of your threads are the same length, and that's it. Your Easy Stripes bookmark is complete. 
So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around. There are a number of other bookmark patterns here on my channel. I love making bookmarks to give as gifts and even to use in my own reading. If you happen to make the bookmark, be sure to share with me on social media and tag Rich Textures Crochet so that I can come and admire it. Say hello down in the comments and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.